everyone welcome back to my channel today i have a bath a what a bath and body works haul i have my two bags here if you don't know the bath and body works at my annual sale is going on it's gonna still go on for one more week i believe and i did pick up some items on sale so i want to show you what i was able to score all right so the first item was this set it is um in the scent japanese cherry blossom and this was regular 39 dollars but where's my receipt it was 75 percent off so this set and then i had a coupon i had a 10 dollars off a 40 dollar coupon so with the coupon and the discount this set came out to seven dollars and 36 cents so let me show you what it brings i bought it um you know for gifting ideas like this one you can just remove this box and gift this set together like any time of the year look it's just the japanese cherry blossom set the large sizes it comes with the shower gel the spray and the lotion for seven dollars let's say with tax eight dollars that is so good i think that this was a great score they did have the vanilla b noel sets as well but these they only had two of them and i did grab both of them because um i like giving my son's therapist you know stuff like this i might just take these things out of the packaging um, so those were the first two items. And then, of course, I had to get gingerbread stuff. Look, these are shower gels. I love shower gels. I never use, like, the bar soap. My husband uses that. I like the shower gel. So I had to get two of the Jolly Gingerbread Village ones. And these came out to, like, three something, I think. Well, with the coupon, actually less. Let's see. $14.95. They came out to $283. $283 for the body wash. Then I did get one of the Jolly Gingerbread Village lotions. And this one again, it came out to $283. And I did get the Jolly Gingerbread Village um, Mist. And this one came out to... The mist are always a little pricier. $3.20, which is an amazing deal. <sighs> Mm, love the gingerbread it smells sweet and then you know i love my candles so i did get one um i got mary cookie i only got like stuff up to 40 dollars. So i was able to use my coupon and you know got a great deal so this one regular price is 16 and i paid um it says 449 i don't know if they did mark this one down 75 percent off Maybe they just marked it down 50% off because I think it should have come out cheaper. But anyways, I got Mary Cookie. It smells so good. $4.49. It smells... Let me see. Ah, it smells like cookie dough. So yummy. So that's um what I got in one of the Bath & Body Works shops. I was looking for like hand sanitizer, 75% off, or the wallflowers, but nobody has them for 75 percent off so that sucks um and then let me see i did stop by um another day to another bath and body work and this is what i got i didn't have a coupon anymore though so these things came out like just to 75 percent off not like such an amazing deal but i did want to grab some more as you know i love candles i'm like a candle hoarder honestly but I do burn my candles, but I just have so much and I keep buying like, <laughs> but anyways, I got two of the hot cocoa and cream. These smell so good. And these came out to 440 something regular price 18. I don't know why these are pricier than the, this one, right? Yeah, this is 16. So this came out price. These are pricier. Ah. It does smell like hot cocoa. So delicious. So I got these two. I could burn these all year long. Love. I love candles with the sweet scent. Like dessert scent. That's my fave. 
All right, then I did pick up these because I had forgotten. I had gotten these for my son's um, teacher. Um, I picked up these, but you know how my son couldn't go? He was sick during Christmas week, so he couldn't go in person to give his teacher and the therapist their presents. So we're going to give them this for Christmas time. And then for Valentine's, we're going to give them these. These are the strawberry pound cake. So these are 75% um, off. So that's pretty good. Um, let me see. They came out to... Let me see, wait. The mist came out to 424 and then the shower gel, 337 So I could give them this um, with like a little something extra for Valentine to the therapist. So I got two sets of these. And then I got this one, the hot cocoa and cream body mist. And this one came out to how much? 224 for the little mist and yeah that was it for the bath and body works um so that's the bath and body works haul that i got let me actually put it up here so you guys can see everything that i got so this is my bath and body works haul i got a pretty good amount again i picked up some gifts so that was a good pickup and yeah if you haven't hit your stores yet go check them out because they still have quite a bit left and yeah, you get a great deal. I love Bath & Body Works. Like all their products smell so delicious. I love everything they sell. It's just regular price is pricey. So this time of year is when I take advantage and stocking up. I didn't buy a lot this year because like I said, I have so many candles. I also bought the Harry Slat skin. Um, but yeah, this is the stuff that I got from Bath & Body Works. All right, friends. And now I have a announcement it is time to announce the valentine's day giveaway again if you are new i do giveaways for every holiday and also for every 5,000 subscribers that i hit in my channel so once i hit 35,000 subscribers there will be another giveaway um but for now we are gonna do the valentine giveaway as we all know valentine is february 14th so we're like a month away. Um, so I want to do the giveaway now. That, that way you'll have like time. The winner will have time to receive their stuff. And you know display it for Valentine's Day. So let me go get what the giveaway prize includes to show you all. Okay friends. So I have here the giveaway prize. Um, again my giveaways. I like to make them fun and exciting um i now could just like give away like a gift card but that seems like too simple for me and you know i'm not simple i'm like fun and i like giving away cute stuff again if you're not interested in the gift i just ask that you don't enter that way someone that is really interested has a better chance of winning it um but yeah the first item is this bag remember these these are the bags of target dollar spot that i got for um, christmas time and i forgot to include it in the christmas giveaway so i'm including it now in the valentine one and honestly you can use it look because it's not super super christmasy and you know it has valentine colors the girl so you can rock it right now to put all your valentine purchases in so that's the first item I am going to include one of these signs that I got from the Dollar Tree Street, what? Sweets for my sweet. Look how cute. I have this one already in my kitchen. I put it on top of the microwave to give you an idea of where you can put it. All right. Then I am going to include this pair of socks. These are cute for Valentine. This one comes with strawberries and this one has cupcakes. So you get two pairs. Oh, and again, some of my giveaways may include stuff that was mine and that I'm not going to use anymore. So this is one of the items. Remember, I unboxed this one. It's the Tinsel Rosé bottle. I'm not going to end up using it anymore. So I'm including it in this giveaway. I believe I only used that last year. I bought it last year. 
And then uh, the other two items that I'm not going to use anymore are these. They are the plushies from Dollar Tree from last year. Um, this one I did like cut the tag off. You have to cut the tag off of this one. I honestly don't like these tags like for displaying. So I included this, the milkshake and the chocolate candy box. Then remember these that Walmart used to sell for Christmas time. So I did get an extra set um, for the giveaway. Like I think about my future giveaways um, with time. So when I see stuff and I'm like, oh, this will be cute for the Easter giveaway or Valentine. I buy it and then save it until it's time. But look, they are the gingerbread pastel pinky bakers i have a set of these hanging in my kitchen for decor aren't they so adorable you know i have to include some type of gingerbread in my giveaways as well so this is one of the gingy items oh i love them me and my hubby me and my hubby <laughs> next i am including this um cherry keychain remember that video when i did Oh, which is cheaper to shop from Sheen or Temu and Temu won so I bought like this exact same stuff of items and then I compared them and they're like exactly the same thing but Temu is cheaper so I got this one from Temu a cute cherry keychain cute to use right now on your keys then I'm gonna give away this My Melody plate these came in a set so um I include I sometimes when I'm including these, they just come like single. They don't come with a tag or anything, but they are brand new. They just have like here, like they were like tape residue. You just have to like wipe that off or I might try to wipe it off before sending it to the winner. But just FYI, if the winner receives this and it looks used, it's not used. It's brand new. It just has tape residue. And again, since they're new, I haven't even washed it. The residue is there, but you can just wipe it off. But it is the pink My Melody uh, Melamine Cereal Bowl. Look how pretty. Perfect for Valentine, right? Next, another gingy item. I'm including this spatula. It does come with cookie cutters. I know it's like a Christmas spatula, but this guy, this gingy, you can use them all year round. So you can use them for Valentine. Look, he's just a gingy cookie. And you can use this for Valentine and, you know, the candy cane. Make them pink ones. <laughs> um, but, yeah, I'm including this set. And then I'm also including this set. Again, I bought these um, during Christmas time. But I saved them for the Valentine giveaway. Look how cute they are. They are the pink gingy kitchen towels. It says gingerbread on here with the pink house has candy canes but it's fine aren't they good for valentine i think they're good for valentine and you get two of them they are by cupcakes and cashmere all right and last but not least i have this here and this one remember i unboxed it yes i am giving away the cupcake pillow and when i unboxed it i act like oh why did i have three why do i have three i bought it last year i think i found it did i find it like after valentine's i'm not even sure no i think i find, found it when it was like almost valentine so it was too late for the giveaway i think i had already done my valentine giveaway last year but i bought it thinking about the next year i i always think about my giveaways so i am gonna include the valentine cupcake pillow if you remember if you've been with me since last year or since the beginning remember i kept finding these pillows and these are so viral like oh i love them i love them so much and they were so hard to find but i was getting so lucky with them i was like i have to get one like i keep finding i'm like i have to get one for my subscribers so yeah, I'm including the cupcake pillow as well. All right, friends. So here are all the items of the giveaway. Let me know what you think about this year's Valentine's giveaway. Again, I always try to include cute items. I do hope that you guys think there are fun, cute giveaways. Um, but let me know down below in the comments. And yeah, friends, um, now to get into the rules of the giveaway. So 
I always ask in every giveaway a question and for you to answer it in the comments and use a hashtag word. So the question today is, have you been getting lucky finding your Valentine wish list items in store? Let me know down below if you've been getting lucky finding the items. I have, um, fortunately I have, I found mostly all the beautiful gingerbread houses. Um, but I do notice the stores aren't bringing out a lot anymore of Valentine's. So that's how I'm wondering like, what happened? It's like, I don't know if you remember last year, but last year also they didn't bring out a lot of Valentine's and I feel like the same thing is happening. So that's why I wanna know, were you guys able to score your wish list items? Any good Valentine? Let me know down below and use hashtag Valentine. Hashtag Valentine make sure your comment includes hashtag valentine because if it doesn't include hashtag valentine i'll write it right here how you have to write it in your comment your comment will not be included in the giveaway and this video is coming out let's see tuesday it's gonna come out on tuesday um and i always give 48 hours to announce the winner so i will announce the winner on thursday Again, if anyone contacts you, letting you know that you've won, it's a lie. Do not fall for the Telegram scammers or any type of scammers. I know sometimes they steal my profile picture and contact my subscribers saying, hey, you've won, contact me this way, that way. No, I do not contact anyone. Once I announce the winner in the video announcement, the winner has to contact me and I explain in that video how the winner can contact me. So please do not fall for any of the scammers. But yes, friends, thank you so much for staying with me till the end of this video. And if you did, you're lucky because you're able to enter the giveaway. And before you go, please hit the like button, subscribe, and we will see you next time. Bye.